Hey, what's up, Galen and so hey with Jinga and GrowStrong.com, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about something very, very important throughout your couple at a career. Okay, and we've been talking lately a lot about how to be successful in Capoeira. And whether that means you just want to be awesome, lose some weight, uh, navigate all the way to graduado, or be a master, master, contra master, uh, to be a teacher, whatever that happens to be for you. Uh, no matter what, if it's just learning full moves and enjoying capoeira, okay, then uh, you need to keep uh, a capoeira diary or a capoeira journal. Okay? And I happen to have one on the market, but I'm going to show you mine first. Okay? I'm going to show you all the ones uh, that I've used in my career. I've used them to write O'Hay's capoeira ground game system. I've used them to create my first being achieve a mastery system. I've used it in my journal. I went back and, and found all my old moves to put together all the things and products and teaching courses, digital training courses, I use a journal to do that. I use them to write my books. Uh, it's easier to write, uh, not easier, but you have more emotional connection and you can really relate when you actually write your stuff in a journal, okay? Or a capoeira diary, a capoeira, whatever you wanna call it, some kind of documented device, but writing with a pen or a pencil, uh, so you have that emotional connection with it. Typing is okay too, it's just, you gotta draw a little picture, a couple of weird, certain takedowns, um, certain moves, you may have to do some illustrations, so I really recommend a journal. And I'm gonna show you some of my old ones, I wish I had uh, some other ones, my first ones in a box, I do have some old ones I'm gonna show you today, um, but it's definitely for your development. Every time you go to a bachizado, every time you go to a workshop, you take workshops with somebody, every time you have a, a eureka moment, in class, okay, whenever you're learning, and especially, um, you know, when you're learning your fundamentals and your takedowns and the basic stuff, some notes that you wanna uh, document and then go back to and review. Make sure that you do, just like any kind of other notebook, um, like when you're setting goals, you wanna write those down in your journal, okay? Whether they're kind of what are life goals, uh, we've talked about that um, in other videos. So, it's very valuable. And here I'm gonna show you just an example, but I'm gonna show you close up. So here are a couple of my, my last couple of uh, ones that I used before. I started using uh, my Capoeira journal that I have on, which is dedicated specifically for Capoeira. These ones here are ones I got on Barnes & Noble, okay, just, to, or wherever. I, I, most of the time I use them because they're artsy, they're hemp style uh, books. Um, see, Jingo and Bill Confidence, uh, very cheap. You know, very easy for anything, I mean, they, but they fall apart too, so I mean, look at this one. This one's, uh, it was cool, but it just didn't last. Okay, so that's, that's the downside of, of going with uh, some of those. Take care of them. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's go. Awesome, so here are a couple of my uh, journals that I've used previously uh, when I first started getting started, and there's a green one, one of my first ones is not here, it's away in a box, so it's falling apart. Uh, but I'll start here with my most recent one that I started using um, before I started using my own Capoeira journals that I have uh, on Amazon right now. So uh, these are some of the books that I use now, and these are more now of organizational and writing. See, this is Jinga and Build Confidence when I was writing the Bullyproof book. Um, you know, it's basically I was just writing it here in my first draft, and I would transpose it. So this is more for writing here, okay? So I wanna show you some of the Capoeira stuff that would relate to most people. But when I write my books, I use them, um, you know, I use these also, because I have a more emotional connection, like I was mentioning earlier, um, you know, to, to the content that I'm putting down in these books, okay? And I could draw pictures, I could do what I need, okay? And, and you know, kind of have more of an effect on the, the actual content that I'm doing, okay? So for example, here's one of my um, videos, okay, so if I'm doing, uh, finding the right Capoeira school, okay, this is probably, I wrote my book, Gene Gun Grow Straw, my first book, I wrote it down in here first, okay, here's some videos that I was doing, the tutorial, step by step, how it works with a partner, and I would plan this out, okay, for example, and I'm just going to go this really fast, because I want to get into the other stuff, the Capoeira stuff, okay, which is talks about, oh, look, seven habits of highly success, this was way before I even you know, did anything. This is I was just planning out all my books, Jinga and Grow Strong, Jinga and Roll Strong. I did that. See, I, I went ahead and did it when I wrote it down. Uh, Jinga and Build Confidence, that's down there. And I wrote that. These are all actually books that I planned out before and I followed through and did that. Okay. So anyway, that's that. Here are some of the ones 
the latest ones that I've used for actual capoeira. Okay, so for example, one of the, one of the last workshops I've done a few years ago from this book is a workshop that I went to with Quanta, I'm mean, sorry, at that time Mestre, uh, Mestre Pingo Fogo, and he did a, like a graduado workshop only. It was only for high level uh, students in Austin, Texas. And so I took this, my capoeira journal, and we learned a whole bunch of stuff like Angola, uh, chamadas, we did balo, and I wrote down everything we learned in that in that workshop, you know, every single thing, okay, and now I was able to go back to it, reflect on it, see here the chamadas, and I'll look out for a video here on, on chamadas, chamada de frente, de costa, na barriga, sapinho, okay, de lado, <coughs> so it was an amazing work, uh, kind of private workshop that we had with him, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, but use this stuff I mean this was amazing here see I even use it for when I write my samba hege um, you know arrangements you know I, I'll use it for that I did a, da a dance choreography here for samba hege as well or makulele I think it's makulele um, makulele choreography I use these little journals okay or I used to before I started coming up with mine okay so this is the last one that I had but let me show you one of the gold ones golden nuggets because this was the, one of the ones that I filled out through through and through and this was back way in. Oh, hey, Capo de Ginga, 12 2009. Okay, so this was a while ago. This was uh, almost 10 years ago, uh, nine years ago. Okay, so look, acrobatic sequences. These are just one, things that I would learn in class. Look, or ese dobrado to en pé, to folha seca, solto motor. These are things that we were doing. Okay, and I think this time I was training with Animado and Tarzan, and so we were, we were writing some sequences. Uh, I was anyway, and to go out there and do them. But here's the lesson plan. Okay, look, I was here, whatever we're learning that week, training with Mestrando Ajula Gala. Okay, 50 each side, Pontada. So whenever I wanted to train by myself, I would just write it down and train by myself outside, because at that time um, we were only training twice a week because. Uh, that's all he had space for. He had a plan. I couldn't afford at that time the, the unlimited plan uh, for the studio, for the gym. So I was only training twice a week. So I would, uh, after a while, I would train at, uh, at the gym. And I would write stuff down and, and train. You know what I mean? So anyway, golpes and the hada. So golpes are like, you know, the hits, you know, the, the attacks, the takedowns, and the hada. So this is awesome. I mean, lesson plans. I would go through it. I would use these, okay, to basically navigate my way through my capoeira career. Here's my, here's my training schedule. I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For, I mean, look at that. I mean, W. I wrote that was for uh, weights. Okay, so I use weights, acrobatics, um, KS. I don't know, kicking sequences. Uh, yeah, you know, and I would put that all the week. So these are very valuable. I mean, look, I would really do this. This is a no BS. I would really do it. I'm not just you know trying to sell you uh, a journal or a book. Use it. I don't care whatever one you use. Just use one. Yes, I have some available if you want to use mine. Fantastic. I'm going to show you those here momentarily. But check it out, man. These 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 are gold. Okay. And here's one of my older ones. This one didn't last, but this one's pretty cool. Look, I would write down songs. Okay. So, Oji Abachizado from Mesa Bigodino when I was trying to learn them. Okay. So, these are all legitimate. I mean, Fazizo, some Portuguese. I would see and I would write down more stuff. Makulele sequences from Makulele. I mean, the value in this is amazing. I would use this, and then when I would go back and create my digital uh, training products, I would go back and delve into the into the depths of all my journals, my Capoeira journals, and bring out all that information. Okay, so here are the ones that that I used to use, and that's fine. They just don't last long, and they just could be for anything. They're cheap. This is the good. Okay, but I have also dedicated ones. So let's go to mine now. Okay, so if I um, well, I'm in my studio now, in my office, okay, so as we come over here, what's up, it's this little hey studio, check it out, yeah, I got all my cool stuff, nice, right, okay, what's up, Galada, okay, and, you know, this is where I do a lot of my, my training, okay, my videos here, you've seen on YouTube, okay, nice bookshelf here made by Hapozin, yeah, you've seen here in some other videos, awesome student, okay, Boom, Jingo and Bill Confidence. There's one of my journals there. Here's a nice Jingo and Grow Strong. Best-selling author, Chris Rowell. Capoeira Over 40 is my one of my uh, double bestsellers. Okay, and there I have 
Okay, this is that's the unisex Jingadrill, and, and I'll put a link in the description. You can check that out. Um, it's pretty nice, and it's blank. I'm gonna go through it here, and then of course here's the the female, which is just the female version, the Jinga Journal. My cup, what a journey! So let's take a look. Let's bring it on down here. Now go. Okay, so I've gone over this here in, in other videos. Um, the specific one. This is the female version, but it's the same interior, um, and it's perfect. The Jinga Journal um, on the back. Nunca pare de treinar capoeira. Oh, nunca pare de treinar capoeira. Oh, oh meu amigo, vou lhe dar um bom conselho. Ok, Jinga Journal. Nunca pare de treinar capoeira. You put your apelido in there. Okay. Boom. This has some pictures in there. Some inspirational uh, pictures. Like, capoeira é tudo que eu poca come. Ok, popular phrasing. Okay, your daily training, channel of Gia, and it just goes on. It's like 150 pages of this stuff. There's a place for music, and so I'll use these now. These are the ones I just have on display here in my studio. Okay, but they're extremely valuable. Um, but like I said, use anything. You don't have to buy these. Go and get yourself a spiral, something that you're going to use. Though the, the requirement is that you use it. Okay. So if you just don't use it, then that's horrible, and then you know you just not documenting your progress or anything. So anyway, that's what I wanted to, to illustrate to you today, guys. I wanted to show you a little bit, okay, of of what I use, okay, and hopefully you could use it too, okay? Okay, so until next time, guys, I'm Ohe with Jingo and, and Grow Strong. Uh, dot com, so make sure that you uh, share, leave a comment. I really want you to use the journal because it's very beneficial. Who cares if you want to buy mine? That's awesome. Uh, just use one, okay? Like I said, I've used these all throughout my career and they've been extremely valuable. Uh, just to because re remember, one of the most popular sayings and things that I said, you're going to learn way much more copyright than you ever use. You're going to forget more than you'll ever use. All the workshops that you go to, the better uh, copyright player that you want to be is the more that you're going to be able to review that stuff, look over and integrate more of it in your game. And it'll get better faster. You'll be able to pass people up in your class or it's just... Uh, barely, you know, digesting it off, but hey, let's, let's admit it, capoeira is a lot of stuff. Martial arts, acrobatics, movement, dance, language, instruments. So, if you, there's no way for you to document your learnings and go back and review them, it's going to, you know, it's like I've said in my book, Jingle and Grow Strong, and the very first time, that capoeira is like drinking out of a, fodder, uh, a fire hydrant. Okay, you're going to get only a little bit in your mouth, and you're going to end up leaving all wet. So it's going <laughs> to be all sweaty. But anyway, uh, yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of the video and what other content that you want. I'll put a link in the description for the Jinga Journal on Amazon.com. And uh, also, if there's a free course as well you can sign up for, just fill out the survey. I have a 90-second survey, uh, which you can fill out. It's only four questions, and it's basically telling me what kind of content that you want. But I would, I would really appreciate it if you did that. So all right, guys, until next time, guys, Jinga and Grow Strong. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Jinga and grow strong.